friends and welcome back to ages how you wear it vlog i see that um i showed you at you saw that i went to the outdoor flea market so i showed you right from the beginning all the great things that i saw there it was hot i did not buy anything guys that is what's so amazing i did not buy nothing i couldn't find anything that i wanted and the one thing i cannot do right now is spend money on stuff for no reason so i couldn't do that and that's what i really wanted to show you today was the interesting stuff that i did and saw at the outdoor flea market i also am filming so you know i'm always doing stuff with y'all while i'm filming um so i want to get me something y'all remember i told y'all about this tea right this uh shaka tea this one is the gua guava ginger blossom so i know y'all remember me telling y'all about this it has no sugar no nothing you taste the you taste some of the ginger, but it's not like a strong, strong ginger. So that's good. And I had me one of my cinnamon. I know y'all know the Quaker rice cakes. I love the um, cinnamon, the cinnamon apple one. So that was good. Yesterday, I should have filmed it because I cut some bananas up and put it on top. It was so good. It was so delicious. Okay, so I was doing some filming today um, and taking Instagram pictures and all that. And it's a gorgeous day outside. It's like 84 degrees outside. So I was taking just some indoor stuff. I didn't want to go outside. It's just too hot. I didn't want to go out there and film. And I knew that I want to go ahead and put in some information before I get this video up. So I wanted to add some extra footage other than just y'all seeing the outdoor uh, flea market. I am going to the movies today. I'm going to see the Viking. Um, I like historical type movies like that. So I'm going to see the Viking. And then next week, <laughs> if you're a Marvel fan, you already know what next week is. Doctor Strange. But I was filming, so I said, let me show them some of the items that I got in that I filmed so you can see. So, uh, I don't know about you, but I've started to get into wearing, um, what is these things called? Here I go again. I can never remember. Wait. I'm telling y'all, getting old ain't pretty. Getting old is not pretty. I don't know about y'all, but I I never was I was never into dusters and stuff. So I'm just obsessed with it now. When I tell you obsessed, it's getting kind of bad. But y'all know I'm always obsessing over something. But a duster is when it's just open like this. You see, there's no buttons, there's nothing. Some people use uh, nail. You can um, get robes and use them as dusters. They're small, you know, short dusters, long dusters. I like the long ones. And look at this beautiful one. Excuse the wrinkles, but it wrinkled fast. But look at the design in it. It is gorgeous. So I'm obsessed with dusters. So this is a duster. So just in case, you know, because I didn't know the difference in all of them. And this is a caftan. So this is when um, they also, I think they call them moo moo sometimes, but they're real big, like they're flowy. They're not made to, use. used to see um, some of the old 70s show with them walking around in it uh, as house dresses, but they be, you know, one size fits everybody. And look at the designs in them though. Look at the beautiful, beautiful designs and this one with the animal print and the colors oh man i'm just falling in love with them so the calf cans have no they usually don't have no pockets um and they're just long and flowy but you can find so many ways to wear them 
So that was duster and caftan. And then you have an actual kimono. And the kimonos are like this. Now, what I found out is, look at this beautiful one. You about to see all this stuff in, in my Instagram one way or another. Look at this beautiful one. And this one was made in Japan. And what I like about this kimono and what I found I like is, I like the more, the kimonos that have the design that you could see it when it's open as well. You see how this has a design? I don't like it when it's all white. Now, the ones that's made in the store now and the ones that, you know, more modern, they have just a white on this part. I like the design to be throughout the whole thing. So, yeah, this one was made in Japan with my favorite color, purple. I love this one. And I got this one at the, um, at, you know, thrifting on doing my live you know, I like live thrifting since I can't get to a lot of places. And this was inexpensive for a kimono. So I just, you know, I don't know about you, but I was always wondering what was the difference. And that is how, what they're called in the difference in them. So just like with the duster, you can make a dress a duster because all you do is open it all the way up. If it buttons all the way down, you open it all the way up and you got you a duster. And the captains, you just got to find some that, that you like, that looks pretty. They got, you know, I don't know. They don't look so old-fashioned and old to me anymore. Probably because I'm already old. Oh. I'm already up there in age. <laughs> but I, I'm i obsessed with them now. So I, I've got quite a few of them. But I don't want to show them all to you because I want you to, you know... I don't have money to keep buying stuff, okay? So I need to divvy out my stuff and let y'all know about it in small things, all right? But I just wanted to show you the difference. I do have some new in and some stuff I thrifted online that I want you to see. So let me go ahead and open. Let me see if I can find my knife or my scissors. So how is everybody? What's been going on? Nothing's been going on with me, guys. I've been working. I've been training a lot, so I've been working. Um, so I look so forward to the weekend. I be so tired. It's nothing like being mentally drained, okay? So you got people who do physical work and they're physically exhausted, but mental exhaustion is also a thing, right? You just mentally, I cannot tell, I don't talk, I don't want to talk because I can't tell another person nothing. You know, I have been thinking for people all week. So I just been mentally drained, but I said, you know what? I'm going to do my video. I'm going to make sure I get something up for everybody. And then I'm going to rest. Um, uh, my son who was, visiting he's a merchant marine and he's been he been here like almost he been off for like a, a year and something so he's been here a year um to visit staying with me and it was so good but now he hit that money calling again child he gone so i'm here by myself no you know back again all by myself and last night was a little weird for me because I guess what I'm going to talk about today is, um, you know, I'm beginning to wonder and know why people say, you know what, if I've been in a long-term relationship, whatever happens, I'm just going to let it happen and we'll just get through it because it's hard out here for a pimp and it's hard going from always being with people to having nobody in your house, right? So... I have one hand where it's a little scary and I get, you know, a little, like every little noise back again. I got to get used to it all over again on being by myself again. Because I swear, every little noise last night. And I was like, Danita, don't stay up all night and then you can't get up and do your filming. This is what keeps me happy doing these videos. So, you know, it gets me up, it gets me putting on some makeup, some clothes, you know, and it's just, 
I really like it. So I didn't want to stay up all night trying to figure it out. So I went on, took me some manatoni, honey, and I relaxed and I just laid there and I put on like a boring TV show. Watch that and the next thing you know, I'm gone. So it's just weird, you know, and I got to get used to it. And what's so funny is uh, my son left his weapons here and he like, mom, keep it in your room. I'm like, so, you know, I'm like, where am I hiding at? Like, I got to hide it from somebody. It's just me in here. And I'm like, I just don't like seeing it. Like, I don't like seeing it and touching it. But come up in here if you want to. So, I just don't know. If those who's been living, if you've been living by yourself for a while, let me know. How did you un overcome the, um, the quietness? That's what it is. Okay, so I have an H&M, not nothing spectacular. I noticed that in my wardrobe, and you know I, I'm not up there with uh, a lot of YouTubers that got so many clothes. I wear my clothes. Ain't nobody giving me nothing for free, and then I end up doing who knows what with it. I think that's such a, such a waste. But I noticed that when I was packed really going through my closets. I did that yesterday. Maybe one day I'll film me actually like when I declutter because I declutter every couple of months. Like I really look through, I really start reorganizing because I'm in such a small space and I have so much that I have to keep it organized. Like um, I did my, let me show you. So yesterday I did my shoot my shoe rack so i went on and color coded everything and just you know uh to put uh brought my hats out that i want to wear now and this shoe rack is not big enough because you see i got shoes on i there. noticed that i did not have any just plain black like linen pants that i could just throw on you know the wide leg pants I just wanted something that I can throw on and I wanted it black. This looks huge. Oh man, I might I shouldn't have got large. Oh man, this might be too big. Let me try it on. Oh no, it's I like it loose like this. I like it loose like this. I don't know. And it's long, too. I'm going to have to go get the medium. I think I'm going to have to go and get the medium. Because I already ain't got no booty or nothing. So, I don't want nothing to take away from my booty already. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go and change it and get... A, um, I'm going to have to get a medium. So, they're these pants. And I'm just going to go run up there and exchange them and get a medium. I wanted them loose, but not that loose. Um, and then I also got, I know you've seen these shoes. With the, let me cut it off so I can show you. The shoes with the rope, I got the black ones. I didn't want the tan ones because I already got these. I already got these tan ones. So I didn't want them, I, even though, you know, I just didn't want them to look even similar because I already got it um, and I didn't want tan. So I got these rope ones. Let me see how it feels. Oh, they nice. Oh, and they feel so comfortable. Oh man, this is nice. And I, I don't have just plain black. I have things with colors. So look how it's got that rope um, design and then the rope is going around the, um, the shoe itself. This is really nice. And I can wear this to work. So those are definitely insane. 
I like these. This can be unpacked. This is so cute. I really like these. And they feel so comfortable. Okay, so. Let me put this back in the bag because I got to go exchange these pants. These are way too big. Put them over there. I'll go exchange them today. Okay, so I did some online shopping all with the same lady. She was selling some outfits. So before I washed them and everything, I said, let me show everybody because I let them sit in a bag for a little while and then I wash them. So I let them sit in a bag with um, like some of my perfume and so I can get the smell of the other person out. I, you know, I just got to do it. And then I wash it. But I wanted to show you these before I even did all that, guys. So first, I'm so excited. So I got the shoes. So she has some shoes. And I, from, this is a Nine West. And you could tell this is not new Nine West. But, and it. The shoe looks so little. I was like, I can't fit this shoe, but it is a true size eight. Look at the design. And this is clear. You see it, the plexi in the middle of that heel. This is so cute. And it was barely worn. Look, it still got the thing on the bottom, which I can't stand. I'm gonna take that off. But look at the design. These are the cutest shoes. I just really like them. I can't wait to style them up. So I'm going to clean them and everything. These are so cute. And she had that. And let me put it back on the bag. She had that. And then she had the, a coach bag. Both of these were $20. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? See, what it is is you're not listening. Those shoes were $20. And this bag was $20. This coach, original, real coach, is not fake. And look at all the colors. And it looked like it's a buckle thing, but you just snap it like that. And I already put some stuff in the inside. And it's got this pretty green. I don't even know if you can see it. The pretty green on the inside. And for it to be white, this bag looks good. And then... It um, snapped open on, see, you can see the green. Then it snapped open on the back where you can put your cell phone. Hunte. $20 bucks for a coach bag that looks very good condition. So, yes. So good. So, let me show you some of the stuff I got from her. Then I got this. Chico's vintage, everything's vintage. This vintage um, velvet hand painted shirt. So let me see if you can see the design. Look at that. Beautiful. And you can kind of see through this a little bit, not a lot. And look at the beautiful colors. I can wear this now, even though it is this material because it's so light. And I will have it open and have a little tank on with it. I would not close it. So, so pretty. So let me put that there because it's ready to go in the wash. Then I got this shirt, also vintage. Like I say, all of this is vintage. Vintage and this is called a brand called Suzelle. I don't know, but it's 100% silk, and that shirt was 100. That shirt was also 100% silk. And look at the beautiful color and the design around that collar. Can you imagine me wearing this with some pretty 
with a uh, I could wear this to work with a, a pretty pair you know with uh, some jeans and a black pump it will look so nice beautiful then here's another um you remember I told you I love them so much dusters here's another duster look at the green and orange and it is long this is a long duster and look the buttons have the same fabric now I went on and got this even though I cannot stand remember I told you how if it's white the only reason I went on and got this is besides the fact that it was twenty dollars is the fact that it's so long that whatever I wear you're really not gonna see the white a lot so I I said I'll go for this one so nice look at the back so very pretty mm. This two-piece set. Uh, let me show you the pants. So look at this pretty blue. This is a Paradiso. Uh, that's the brand. And this is nothing but a definitely a vacation outfit, right? It has the pockets. It has this beautiful sky blue and it has a design at the bottom with the fringe and that orange and yellow and these fringes that is heavy this ain't no cheap feeling fringe this is heavy that is the that's the pants and this is the top look at this guys look at the design I like the collar, how it's, it uh, folds up like that. It has a design in it. It has um, black zebra print in it. And it, it's just a beautiful printed vacation-y looking. Sh I would not wear this to work. I would wear this, hey, if I'm going out, it, especially like a brunch or something like that, a beautiful sunny day in Florida. Put this on with some white sandals. Girl, please. You ain't gonna baby tell me nothing. And I'm still going. The next set is this beautiful. Look at this. Fuchsia. I think this is fuchsia. Or I don't know. It's one of the pinks. I think it's fuchsia. Look at this. This is the shirt or the top, but it looks like a blazer. And, and I guess it's a blazer shirt to me. Let me make it look like something. It's a blazer shirt to me. So you see the blazer look is double breasted. And then you have the pants that go with it. This I would definitely wear to work. Then you have the pants that go with it. It don't have pockets, that's the only thing. Then you have the pants and it's wide and so freaking nice. This set is, oh yeah. So I'm not sure if you know, but Victoria's Secret had a line, right? It's called the Gold Label line. It's vintage Victoria's Secret. That is supposed to, this set is supposed to be a nightgown. Oh, well, you know, a, a pajama set. I'm talking about a nightgown. So this is supposed to be a Victor this is a vintage Victoria's Secret pajama set that you know I'ma wear as clothes. Gorgeous. So beautiful. And the last thing is this skirt. It is a two-way skirt. You can wear it like this and snap it around. Like this. You see with all the patterns. Or you can turn you can turn it the other way and wear it with this pattern this way. So 
so that is everything that I got new in guys let's see did I eat a lot this time did I even show something I don't think I really went out to eat anything I don't think I really did any cuz I you know I showed you a few things yesterday um, a few things last weekend on what I ate but I have something this weekend coming up I'll fix us something so that's it guys um i'll see you next saturday don't forget to like and subscribe come back and see me for the little 15 minutes of my world bye guys